Sebastian Mendel Martinez, MMA Net, here with Jan Blachowicz, who faces off with Nikita Krylov here at UFC Russia. So first of all, this is a pretty big step, the first UFC event in Russia. How do you feel about being part of history? I feel great. I, that was my, I, uh, I would like to fight here. I sent email, push me on this card, and they did it. So thank you UFC for that. <laughs> and uh, w was uh, Nikita Krylov the first opponent offered to you? Yes, he was first. Because I don't choose opponents, you know. They send me email with Nikita. I, 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 accept, I, I accept that and that's it. And obviously, you know, he left the UFC. He did pretty well outside. I believe he's undefeated outside of the UFC after he left. Were you sort of keeping your eye on him, maybe thinking that he would come back? And have you seen some of his fights outside of the UFC? No, I just keep him when I know that he come back to UFC and he, uh, I'm going to fight against him. Then I start watch the, the, the fights with coaches and start thinking how to beat him. And how exactly do you beat him? Because, you know, he's a pretty explosive guy. He's kind of awkward in some ways. How do you train for him and how do you beat him? We find uh, good sparring partners who fight similar like uh, Nikita, so I think I'm going to be ready for his different uh, kind of moves. Uh, I'm ready for decision, I'm ready for knock him out and I'm ready for, for submission, we will see. And what do you think is your biggest strength, or your biggest advantage in terms of style? Mm, I think mentality. Oh, yeah? yeah, mentality and uh, uh, I think everything. <laughs> Power, uh, strength, you know, my, my game, game plan. I think I'm, I'm, I'm just a better fighter. And you're on a, a pretty good run now, three straight wins. And, you know, before that you had a little tough break. You know, you had losses to Gustafsson and Patrick Cummins. Did you do anything to change in your training or preparations? Or, or you know, what do you, what do you credit this, uh, this three-fight win streak to? I come back to my old coach. When I trained with him, I won almost every fight. Now I come back, three wins in a row. So, so it, you know. Why did you leave? Because I think that I have to change. So I leave. Uh, I change him when I sign contract with UFC. You know, because I think that I train not so uh, hard like uh, people who fight in the UFC, and that was, uh, you know, my mistake. I come back to him, train like uh, time before. <laughs> Everything is perfect now. And. Uh, you say everything's perfect. Does that also include like, you know, you said your mental game is pretty strong. Do you feel like that also was affected when you left your coach? Yes, because, uh, you know, you lose one fight, you lose second fight. Something was, was good, you think. It, you know, in the, I also changed the city, you know, in the live in the different city also was not good for me. I come back to, 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 to Warsaw uh, when I've got a lot of friends, a lot of uh, uh, good friends, you know. And everything together, it's now, now great. I live outside the gym and inside the gym, you know? And yeah. that's why my mind is now clear. So your division is a little bit uh, stagnant right now. Daniel Cormier, he went to fight in light heavyweight. And, you know, he hasn't really said for sure if he's going to come back or not. Considering that, you know, it's sort of halting the division, do you think that he, the UFC should force him to defend his belt and come back? Or do you think, like, you know, he should leave it? Or how do you feel about the whole situation? I have to make some decision. Or he leave or he come back and defend the belt. You know, this is a sick situation. And if, uh, if a UFC were to say, like, okay, you have to leave a belt, now we have vacant belt, two fighters get to fight for a championship, which two fighters do you think are most deserving in the light heavyweight division to fight for a championship? Me <laughs> and uh, Gustafsson. Yeah? Yeah. And, you know, you already fought him, it didn't really go your way. What would you do differently in a fight with Gustafsson? Well, uh, take down defense. Yeah? <laughs> Did that surprise you that he went for so many takedowns? Yes, I don't think so that he's gonna take me down all the time, you know. I think that he will, uh, that I'm gonna be that, like, that guy who will try to take him down, you know. <laughs> but you know, every fight is different. That's why, that's why you have to uh, be ready for everything. And what do you feel the fans should be ready for in your fight with Nikita Krylov? I think that, you know, maybe the main event is very big, but maybe people aren't looking so much at his co-main event because I think it's a very exciting fight. What do you think the fans should expect? Really exciting fight, you know, he likes fighting stand-up, me too, so I hope so people will enjoy and uh, don't forget about this fight for a long time. All right, and I noticed you spoke a little bit of Russian to the fans yesterday. Have you been brushing up on it? No, just in a few words. Yeah. yeah. And what else do you know how to say? Like, здравствуйте, спасибо, and only, only, you know, a few words. Nice, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's going to continue to make you popular here. Fans, keep, uh, keep your eyes glued to the screen for the co-main event where Nikita Krylov returns against Jan Blachowicz. Jan, thank you very much. Good luck in the fight. Thanks. Appreciate it. Right, sweet. Thanks a lot, bro.